I don't think that uh, coal gasification is just solid coal going to gaseous coal. That would be, well, there's no such thing as gaseous carbon, really, uh, at room temperature and pressure. Unfortunately, it's not that. Now, do you need to learn the equations that I'm going to show you? Uh, probably. The IB has expected you to be able to put them together with a little bit of information that they'll give you, like they gave you the one product and two reactants. But let's get on with it. So if I've got coal, that's carbon, and some water, well, make sure it's steam, otherwise you've just got wet coal. So make sure it's hot. That gives you carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Both of these are flammable. That burns to produce carbon dioxide, and this burns to produce water. And together, those are known as a town gas or water gas. So that's made in the factory, and that is pumped to your home. Well, nowadays, we use uh, methane, propane, and butane as the gases. Historically, these were used, and these are much more problematic. Carbon monoxide is really very poisonous. I mean, any gas will kill you because unless it's oxygen, you're gonna asphyxiate. But this is actually poisons your blood. It stops the oxygen and carbon dioxide exchanging in your blood. It stops the blood working. Moving on to the second equation, we've got carbon monoxide and hydrogen. Oh, well that was the product from the previous one. And that makes CH4 gas and H2O gas. Again, it has to be heated. So if you keep on to the next stage of coal gasification, you can take the products from the first re reaction, put them together, and you can make methane, and that's much safer. I mean, of course, you'd suffocate if you breathed it only, and uh, it would explode, but at least it's, got not, well, at least it's not gonna poison your blood. And this is called synthetic natural gas. Synthetic natural gas. So synthetic natural gas comes from an industrial process, but natural gas comes from oil wells or from fracking. Now discussion of fracking is beyond the scope of this video, but when the chemicals are pumped down to release the methane, the natural gas, it does seem to be causing a lot of earthquakes. A lot of them are bigger than magnitude five now. Okay, back to the IB. And the third one you need to know for coal gasification is some coal, some water, again make sure it's hot, and that makes methane and carbon dioxide gas. So this is a different equation to make the methane. Instead of having water as a product that you don't need, now you've got carbon dioxide as a product that you don't need. And finally, for coal liquefaction, that isn't solid coal to liquid coal. No, nope. another equation. And again, starting with coal gas, which is carbon monoxide and hydrogen, if you run it over an iron or cobalt catalyst, you're going to get long chain alkanes, which are going to be liquid, and a bit of water as well. And we're liquefied, and we're done. So why bother to turn solid coal into gas and liquid? Well, solid coal has to be transported by truck or rail, pipelines, can transport much more oil and liquid fuel for the same money. Why don't we just use alternative energy sources where we can? The coal and oil gasification is increasing climate change and 30% of the energy of the coal is used to turn it into the gas and liquid. What on earth are we thinking as a, as a society?